We are surrounded by water. 70% of the Earth's surface is under it. And the Great Lakes cover more than 94,000 square miles of North America with it. Large bodies of water can make progress difficult. If you are willing and able to, you can take the time to walk around it. But for thousands of years, there was only one way to cross Lake Michigan without getting wet. Human-powered paddle boats use the physical effort of the passengers to move. Then, European explorers brought full-sized sailing vessels to lakes Huron, Michigan, and Superior in the 17th century, harnessing wind power to command these freshwater seas. 200 years later, steam engines were driving paddle wheels and screw propellers across the waters of the Great Lakes. Today, there are still human-powered, wind-powered, and steam-powered boats. But there are also boats that are powered by gasoline, diesel, and electricity. Two of the most well-known ships on Lake Michigan are the SS Badger and the HSC Lake Express. While both ships carry people and vehicles from Michigan to Wisconsin, each of them has a different type of engine that powers their way across the lake. Since 1953, the SS Badger has been shuttling passengers and vehicles across Lake Michigan and connecting US Highway 10 between Ludington, Michigan and Manitowoc, Wisconsin. The SS in SS Badger stands for steamship. Coal is fed into furnaces that heat water in the Badger's four boilers. Steam from the boilers is used to power the ship's two Uniflow steam engines. In this type of engine, steam travels in one direction and is alternately fed into each half of a cylinder, driving a piston inside back and forth. The mechanical energy produced is then transferred to the propellers to move the boat. Passengers and vehicles are also carried across Lake Michigan on the HSC Lake Express which began sailing between Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Muskegon, Michigan in 2004. The Lake Express uses four diesel engines to turn impellers in each of the ship's four water jets, forcing lake water through directional nozzles at the back of the ship. Although today you can circumnavigate large bodies of water in an automobile or fly over it in an aircraft, there is still a romance to riding the waves, and whether you're paddling, sailing, or powering across the water, it is a unique experience you don't want to miss.